hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is my second video on the channel, um, and this one's going to be pretty good, I have to say. Um, we're tackling the hovercraft in From the Depths. This is one of those things you just have no idea how to do when you start the game. Um, like the game does not teach you at all. Um, I mean, they, they have some tutorials, but it, it's very difficult to understand those, and I'm going to make sure by the end of this video you guys know exactly how to make a hovercraft like it's it's really not that hard um and hopefully by the end of it uh you'll see that it you know you'll believe me um yeah so this is one i made um just now actually it's backwards uh don't worry the one i show you isn't gonna be backwards but it's so simple you know a hovercraft is essentially you have your engine you have your duddy blade in the middle uh controls the uh, up and down, you have thrusters to keep it stable, your AI with your PID system. I'll, I'll explain all this stuff as we're going, but it's really, it's not too hard. Um, oh, this is great. Hovercrafts are awesome. You know, like once, once you get these, it's a game changer playing from the depths. You know, you go from, uh, you know, hovercrafts, are, they're actually this, they're very similar to uh, submarines. The whole idea of just maintaining an altitude it's the exact same thing for a submarine. You could take a hovercraft and make it a submarine just by adding ion thrusters or more heli bleeds. Um, but without further ado, let's let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I gotta gotta destroy this thing. So destroy all vehicles. Bam. Okay. Yeah, you know, was it was cool, but um, we have to build from scratch. So maybe you guys already have a hole or something built. Um, I'm, I don't have one, so I'm just going to build from scratch, so hit B, uh, caps lock, let's just get building. Um, I'm going to build something very similar to what I just had, I'm just going to do metal. Metal is usually a pretty solid block, not super expensive, but very strong. There we go, always put mirror mode. Now keep this in mind, there's the front part of the vehicle and back part, right? You want to be aware of which is the front when building a hovercraft. It's not the worst thing in the world because you can always rotate your vehicle later, but it's it, it's just nice to know while you're building what where's the front and where's the back. So that's my front section. Uh, make sure when you're building, keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna build a little platform here, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, and I'm back. I just made a basic hole. Um, I got all my uh, I got my core here. I'm going to put all my AI engines, um, duddy blades, and I got these cool little spike things on the outside. I'm, I'm not really an expert builder in this game, um, but you know, this is it's something, you know, just to spice it up a little bit. So there really isn't an order when it comes to building a hovercraft. You can pretty much do uh, whatever you want, um, but here's how I like to start it. Uh, I like to start kind of working inside and going out. Sometimes I would even start with the duddy blades and then build the hole around the core. Uh, so it's up to you whether you want to start with a shell or um, or just the components on the inside first. But you're going to notice that your ship is going to have a mass, the center of mass. Now that's where you're going to want to have the main duddy blade, or at least close there as possible. If the center of mass has like your AI and all your other stuff, you can always have two duddy blades uh, one in the front, one in the back. Um, it's really up to you. So, step number one, go to air, get this duddy blade spinner. So this, um, like th these duddy blades here, it's just pretty much a helicopter propeller, um, helicopter rotor, uh, I think rotor is the right word. And essentially this is what's going to control the up-down of your craft. Um, and it needs to have enough power to lift up the entire craft so you're gonna need to have it bigger uh, if you have a heavier ship and you're probably gonna want to have it um, like you don't want it to be too big you know um, but you also don't want it to be you know too small that it can't lift the ship you just want to have it fit your ship nice and uh, nicely so start off with the deadly blade spinner place that around the center it's not a big deal if it's in the middle completely um, but you just want it to be around the center of mass. Anything else can be, we're gonna deal with all the slight differences later. We're gonna, we have pitch controls, roll controls, and that'll take care of everything. So step one, put your duddy blade spinner on the bottom, and then add maybe a couple duddy blade pole extenders on top. I'm just gonna do three. 
um, I don't know the exact ratio between weight and um, daddy blades, but you know, better to have more than less. So uh, next, you want to add these daddy blade extensions on the side. It doesn't matter which way these are facing; uh, it's going to work no matter what. There we go. Add some in the back. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Um, we have our central uh, daddy blade right here. So this thing is going to keep our ship right in the air. Um, press Q on it and then set. Um, okay, yeah. So let me explain this part a little bit. Um, the hard part about hovercrafts is. Well, I, you know, it's really hard to tell what's hard anymore because I've learned it, but. Um, you're gonna want to make sure each component is set to the proper, um, the proper control. So if you press Q on one of these or a thruster, you'll see you have a spin rate control. So right now it's set to pitcher. You don't want that. You want pusher. You want this thing to be up because it's in charge of keeping your your entire hovercraft up. Pitch is only uh, in charge of the pitch. So you want pusher. Make sure this one's set to pusher. Okay, so now that we have this all set up, we're going to want to add um, an engine and an AI and some resources to go with that. So I'm just going to grab um, a pre-built one. I personally like this one. And luckily it fits just barely in the back. And just to keep things simple, I'm going to make a pre-built AI as well. Um, let me just get some space here. There we go. I chose this one because it already comes with PIDs, uh, which are these right here. If you have your own AI, just make sure to add six of these. They can connect, um, they can connect to each other or to the control block. So just make sure you have these PIDs. You'll find them in the AI. Don't get them confused with the PID general purpose. These don't work. Uh, well, they might work. I just don't know how to use them. Get these ones right here. There we go. So now you have engine AI. Um, this isn't this video isn't about engines and AI, so I'm just using the pre-made ones. It's about hovercrafts as a whole. So now that you have this, you're gonna want resources for your ship. Um, add these. You don't need ammo because we don't have any weapons yet, so we'll just add some fuel. And there we go. So essentially, this uh, it should hover. Oh wait, forgot one thing. You have to add a behavior to the uh, to the AI. Um, so now that all your components are in the ship, next you want to start working on the AI. So if you go over to your AI and click one of the AI routine cards, add a behavior. I'm gonna do point at. It's just very simple and it really shows the full effect of what a hovercraft can do. Um, circles also not bad. Um, I'm not sure how to circle and point at, so that's why I like point at. So select that, hit activate, or just make sure it's active. Go to adjustments, maybe set the height to 100. That's personal preference, I'm just doing 100 because you know it's a good amount above the water. Maneuver, you want the hover, uh, ho add hover movement. There we go, hover, uh, the blade is spinning in the back. Uh, and next you want to go to your PIDs and enable all of these. You don't really need strafe, but we have six PIDs, so it doesn't hurt to have it. Um, there we go. These are our different controls. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So the hovercraft itself is done. If I press caps lock, you'll see. Uh, well, it's almost done. Um, you can see it's struggling a bit to stay afloat. So this is where you test if your daddy blade is uh, strong enough. So press Q. You can set the motor drive to max. And you can see that, yes, it's got plenty of power. Um, it's got enough power to keep this thing in the air, and that's what you want. Of course, you can always make this bigger. You're going to need a better engine if you make this bigger. Um, I don't think it can be too big. There we go. So we have our W blade. But you notice that the, the craft itself, it wants to lean backwards. Um, you can tell that the center of mass is slightly behind the craft, so when this thing tries to lift up, it, it's just trying to go backwards. So in order to fix this, we add something called pitch. So if you go to air, uh, right here, 
grab some jet engines. You can use the bigger ones. You can use ion thrusters. This one's pretty small, so I'm just gonna use the basic jet engines. And you're gonna want to add these in the front and the back. There's no set number um, you need. They don't need to be aligned, but you just want these to be in the front and the back and towards the center of the ship. So you can see the center of mass is right there and these aren't too far off of it. Okay, there we go. Pitch controls should be done. So when you place these thrusters, you can press Q again, just like the Deadly Blade, and you'll see that there's different uh, presets. It's already set to pitcher. All thrusters should be set to pitcher when you place them down, unless they're on the sides. Um, so press caps lock, and you'll see that the the ship is all good. Um, although it is very wobbly, <laughs> uh, we'll fix that a little bit later. So we have pitch control, so now the ship can tilt forwards and backwards. Now we just want to add roll, turning, and uh, forward and back. So to add roll, you want to go to the center of mass. Um, so next up with the roll controls, you're gonna you're gonna want to add these uh, as close to the center of mass as possible, but on the sides of the ship. Um, they don't have to be at the very ends, but towards the side. Uh, aligned with the center of mass. Uh, if you just try to think, when you're trying to tilt uh, side to side, that's where you're going to have the best. Um, that's where you're going to want the force to turn the best. Um, just add maybe a couple here. Three is most likely too much for this small of a ship, but we'll just add those there. Um, and if you press Q, you'll see they're set to pitcher. Make sure you set these ones to roller. Um, spread to neighbors. Roller, sweat to neighbors. There's sweat to neighbors. Okay. There we go. These are all set to roller now. So now the ship can go forward, back. I have to look off of that because it's it's kind of crazy. So there we go. Hovercraft can now go forwards, backwards. Uh, not forwards, backwards. It can tilt uh, up and down, and it can tilt right and left. It's still very unstable, um, but we'll fix that. Next, we want to add the the pusher and then the turning. So I think these are set to pusher by default. The more you add, the faster it goes. And you're going to want to add turning right here. There we go. And we'll add some more turning over here as well. Let me just add a chair real quick. Listening. so I can spawn here. Okay, so we have a hovercraft. This is essentially done, although it's kind of, um, it's very wobbly. So I'm gonna show you how to fix the, the wobbly part. What you're gonna do is go to your AI and press Q on the PIDs. Um, so if you go to the roll controls, well, let's fix the roll first, because right now it's, wo it's wobbling uh, side to side a lot. So you want to go to edit roll and lower the gain down until it stops wobbling. Um, 0.12 is sometimes good, 0.01. Um, but as you can see here, these lines on the graph are pretty good. You want it to be as close to the line as possible. That's not bad. I'll leave that there. You know, I like to have a little bit of wobble. Um, there we go. Next, you want to go to the pitch controller lower the gain down as well. There we go. I gotta keep it up a little bit. Cause yeah, I like to have a little bit of wobble on the craft. I don't know, it's just too weird if it's perfectly still. So we'll, we'll do like that. And um, yeah, the craft is very still. It's hovering. If we go to the AI again, um, and go to behaviors and adjustments. We can change the height, so min height above the water. We can raise that up and we'll see our craft goes directly up. Very stable. Um, and from here, you know, you, you can just, you can seal this thing off. Um, I believe these get less efficient when like they don't have access to the actual air. Um, 
there are, um, where are they? These, the ducks. You could uh, place some of these if you want to add a roof. I'm not going to. Um, it's not a big deal if you don't have them anyway. But yeah, that's that's your hovercraft. Let's, I don't know, let's add a couple of weapons to it, and then let's let's see how it goes. Okay, there we go. We added some weapon systems to the bottom, and let's let's spawn in an enemy. I'm gonna turn combat off for now. Oh, I need some ammo. Let me just do that real quick. Oh, let's see. Let's spawn in something. Uh, we'll just do a flying squirrel for fun. Spawn now. Turn off combat, and you'll see that our hovercraft is working. It's trying to point at the target and maintain a distance away, a hundred, a uh, hundred meter distance, a uh, thousand meter. Um. Hold on, it looks like it's good except for one thing, it doesn't have um, backwards thrust, so let's just add some of that there to help the control a little bit. Yeah, there we go, much better. I think I have a bit too much pitch. Um, probably best to lower that, but let me turn combat on actually. So you can see it working, but you know that's a hovercraft. You know it's it's done pretty much. Um, of course, you can just edit some of the settings I edited at some point in this video. You can look back. I, I think I covered everything you're, you're probably gonna need. Um, it does seem to be a little bit uh, off, if you know what I mean. Adjustments, maneuver. Um, I don't know. Um, it's possible the. Am I even missing something? I don't know. It's possible that the the flying squirrel is just a, a tough enemy for this thing to work. But it, you know, this thing moves pretty quick. Um, it's actually not a bad design <laughs> if you want to copy this for your own world. It'll probably do okay. Yeah. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. This, you know, a lot of fun. Um, let me know if you have any other ideas for tutorials. Um, I do plan on making a series of this game at some point. Um, although I want to get a couple other videos out first before I start that. Um, yeah, please comment. I, I mean, if you if you enjoy the video, I mean, please comment because it's I love reading comments. Um, you know, the only reason I made this video actually was because someone was looking forward to my next video, so um, kind of motivated me to record this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any problems, um, if my audio is too quiet. I tried to raise it up a little bit, we'll see if it worked out. Um, but yeah, there, there goes your hovercraft. Um, it's really not too bad. You just engine, Deadly Blade, AI, and then all these thrusters to control the pitch roll and um, the push and uh, see you guys next time.